What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a 30 minute core class. If we've not met before, hi, I'm Margaret, I'm 27, and I'm a certified Pilates instructor. You don't need any equipment for this class, just you and your mat and a good attitude. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Just find your way to your mat. I want you to find a seated position. Hips are gonna go down, feet will go out in front of you. I'd say about hips distance apart. And then take your hands right to the backs of your legs. We'll take a big inhale to reach the crown of the head up. I want you to pull the elbows out towards the sides of the room, relaxing your shoulders down and back. From here, it's an inhale, sit up tall, press the chest forward just slightly, and then exhale, we're gonna do a little round back. Good, let's do four more like that. Big inhale, sit up tall, slight press forward of the chest, and then exhale, round things back. Good, we'll go for three. For two. And then last one. Awesome, with that last one, let's sit up nice and tall. I'm just gonna scoot forward a little bit. Reach your arms out in front of you. We'll take an inhale. Again, sit up tall, exhale, you draw in belly button towards your spine. You start to roll things all the way down to your mat. And I want you to move nice and slow, articulating down through your spine. Shoulders go down, head goes down. Arms will reach back overhead, take an inhale, and then exhale, let's lift arms up above the shoulders. We'll press the hands down towards the tops of our thighs. You can touch your thighs, and then from right here, let's press the hands up as we tuck chin to chest, press down into the hips. You'll start to roll yourself all the way up through seated. Let's do that four more times. Inhale right here, sit up tall. Exhale, you draw in, belly button towards the spine. You're rolling down an inch, another inch, one more inch. Good, shoulders come down, your head goes down, your arms reach back overhead. Think about taking up length, taking up space, and then exhale, lift arms above the shoulders. We press the hands down towards the thighs as we tuck chin to chest, lift up through the shoulders, press down into your hips, press down into your heels. You come all the way up through seated. That was four. This is gonna be three. Big inhale to sit up tall. Exhale, draw in belly button towards the spine. We're rolling ourselves all the way down towards the mat. Shoulders go down, head goes down, arms reach back overhead. You take that big inhale. And then exhale, lift arms above the shoulders, pressing your hands actively down towards the thighs. We tuck chin to chest, you draw in from the belly button, you start to roll things up to seated. That's three, right? We're moving nice and slow. How does that feel? Big inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, draw belly button in towards the spine. You start to roll things down. Good, shoulders go down, head goes down, arms reach back overhead, big inhale. And then exhale, let's press the hands down towards the thighs. We tuck chin to chest, lifting up through the shoulders, pressing into the hips, pressing into the heels. You roll it all the way up. We're just doing one more. Big inhale here, sit up tall. Exhale, draw in belly button to spine. You roll things down to your mat, slow, slow, slow. Shoulders go down, head goes down, arms reach back overhead, big inhale. And then exhale, we press the hands down towards the thighs. You roll yourself all the way up. Can you move as slowly on the way up as you did on the way down? That answer is always going to be yes. Good, once you come up through seated, you can open up through your knees just a little bit. Reach forward, pressing your chest down towards the mat. Good, when you're ready, we'll pull things right back up and you'll lay yourself all the way down onto your mat. Okay, shoulders go down, head goes down. Once you get right here, your knees come up above your hips. We're going to take the left hand. I want you to press your left hand into the top of your left leg. You're pressing hand into leg, leg into hand. And hopefully we're starting to find that connection into our mat and into our bodies. You're thinking about pulling hip and rib cage closer to each other. From here, right arm reaches up above the shoulder. We're going to keep that right knee bent. I want you to inhale, tap the right toes down towards your mat, reach the right arm back. Exhale, you pull things back up to center. For four more, we reach it back and then we'll pull things in. Good. We'll go for three. Do you feel your back arching off of the mat? Can you not do that for two? <laughs> and then last one. 
Good. Right arm comes right back above the shoulder. We're going to move the left hand across towards the right leg. Fingertips point out towards the right side of your room. Continuing to press hand into leg, leg into hand. Now we'll do that same movement through the left leg and the right arm. You inhale, reach the right arm back, tap the left toes down. Exhale, you'll pull things back through center. For four more, we go down and then lift up. Good. I'm going to call that three for two and then last one. Good. With that last one, we're just going to swap things over. Same thing on the other side, right hand presses into the presses into the top of your right leg, left arm reaches up above your shoulder. We'll inhale, tap the left toes down, reach the left arm back. Exhale, pulling that left knee back up above the hip, reaching the left arm above the shoulder. We'll go for four, for three. Can you keep the pelvis stable as you move through the arm and the leg? For two, and then last one. Good. Right hand moves across towards the top of your left leg, pressing hand into leg, leg into hand, right fingertips facing out towards the left. From here, we inhale, tap the right toes down, reach the left arm back. Exhale, take it back to center. For four more, you reach back, tap the toes. Exhale, pull it back in. For three, sorry, I got an itch on my nose. <laughs> For two. And then last one. Good. With that last one, everything's going to come in. You can bring your feet down towards the mat. We're just going to drop knees from side to side. Awesome. Take a second right there. Okay. And then when you're ready, we're going to keep the upper body down on the mat for right now. Left foot stays where it's at. Right knee is going to lift up above your hip. Your shin is parallel to the ceiling. We'll reach the arms up above the shoulders. You'll give me a big exhale. Crunch up through head, neck, and shoulders as you lift the left leg so it comes up in line with your hip. Your hands are outside of your hips. Your gaze is pointing to the tops of your legs. You'll, you'll, sorry. <laughs> words are hard. You're going to inhale lower all the way down. Left foot comes down. Arms come up above your shoulders. We're doing that four more times. I try not to apologize like to myself and to you guys. Cause it's just like, this is life. This is just how I teach. Let's go for three. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I don't edit my workout videos that much <laughs> for two, <laughs> mostly cause I'm lazy, but like Second of all, because I just want it to feel like a real studio experience. Okay, last one. We lift that left leg, press the hands down. You come back down through center. Awesome. From right here, we change things up. You give me a big exhale. You're going to lift up through that left leg as you reach your hands up and over to the outside of your right leg. Inhale, we lower the left foot down. Arms come back up through center. Okay, so left leg lifts. You go up and over. That's going to be four. This will be three for two and then last one. Good. Everything comes back through center. One more thing right here. Arms are going to stay reaching up above your chest. You'll take a big exhale. You start to lift up through the upper body as you lift the left leg up. You pause right here. Hands are reaching right about above your knees. We're going to kick the legs up to straight and then see if you can lift up a little bit higher. You bend at the knees. You're going to drop the left foot down, lower down through the head, neck, and shoulders. We lift the left leg. You start to lift up, kick the legs. Can you reach higher? Bend the knees, drop the left foot down, drop the upper body. Okay. We're going for three. Good. For two. And then last one. Awesome. With that last one, everything comes down except for that right leg and the arms. We're putting those three movements together and we'll do three total reps. Okay. When you're ready, arms go back up. It's a big exhale. We crunch up through head, neck, and shoulders as we lift the left leg up in line with the right. Everything comes back down. Again, you're going to lift up through that left leg, bring the hands towards the outside of your right leg. 
Inhale, everything comes back down. We exhale, lift the left leg up as we crunch up, kick the legs, reach up towards your toes. Inhale, bend the knees, drop the upper body, drop the left foot. That was one. This is gonna be two. How does your core feel, okay? And two, I feel kind of warm. <laughs> and right here, I'm talking about your core as the front part of your body, what we think of as the six pack abs or your rectus abdominis. Okay. This is going to be our last one. We lift up, we lower down, we go out to the right leg. We lower down. You're going to crunch up as you lift the left leg, kick the legs up. Can you reach up higher? I can't. We bend the knees and then you bring it back down. From there, right foot can come down, arms can come down. We're going to drop the knees from side to side, okay? Now the fun part about this class is that we're going to be working our core in all, like all parts of the core. It's not just going to be front body focused. We're going to hit obliques. We're going to hit the back side of our body as well, right? Isn't that fun? Same exact thing over on the other side when you're ready. Left foot goes, no, right foot goes down this time. Left leg is going to lift up above the hip. Um, we bend at the knee, shin parallel to the ceiling. From here, when you're ready to keep moving, you reach the arms up above your shoulders. You give me a big exhale. Crunch up through head, neck, and shoulders as you lift the right leg up in line with your left. Inhale, everything comes right back down. We do that four more times. Big exhale, crunch up. Whoo, inhale, take it back down. Good, let's go for three. Big exhale, every time you come up, I promise it'll help you. Good, let's go for two. And then last one. Good. Everything comes back down right there. We do the same thing, just taking the hands to the outside of the left leg. Big exhale, you crunch up, right leg meets the left, hands come to the outside of the left leg. Inhale, you lower everything down through center for four more. Now we're hitting the obliques. You think about pulling the bottom of the rib cage on your right side across towards the top of your hip on the left. That should be three. We'll go for two. Good. And then last one. See, it's not so bad right? Everything comes down through center. And now the kind of funky one, we take a big exhale. You lift the right leg up as you lift up through the upper body. Hands are reaching towards the knees. We kick the legs up. We just see if we can lift up about an inch or a half an inch higher. We bend the knees. You lower down as you take your right foot down to the mat. We exhale, crunch up, lift the right leg, kick the legs. Can you reach up higher? Bend the knees, start to lower down as you take that right foot back down for three good are you crunching with your neck or with your core it should be with your core right you'll know if it's with your neck and if you need a second keep your head down this is our last one good and then we put it all together okay so when you're ready Let's do it. Arms up above the shoulders. We take that big exhale. We go one up through center as we lift that right leg up. You come back down and then you'll take it up and over towards the left as you lift the right knee up. We bring it back down. Now comes the weird one. We lift up as we crunch up, kick the legs, reach up towards the toes, pull everything in. We drop down as we take the foot down. That was one. This is going to be two and lower to the left and lower we go up through center can you reach the toes you can we'll pull things down right foot comes down for our last one we crunch up through center we'll bring it down you go up and over towards the left bring it back down final time we do this weird one kick the legs up reach up towards the toes pull things in, head drops down, shoulders down. You can hug your knees into your chest. Good. Take a second right here. Take a deep breath. You can rock a little bit from side to side. Okay. From right here, we're going to walk the feet out towards the top of our mat, opening up a little bit for the, through the front of your hips. Arms reach up above your shoulders. We're going to take a really big inhale just to mentally prepare ourselves. Exhale, knowing that you might have to try a second time to get up. Okay, let's inhale again, just for good measure. And then exhale, we start to tuck chin to chest, reaching the hands towards the tops of the legs. You're going to roll yourself up 
to seated. Now, if you started to go up and you came right back down, that's okay. That happens to me pretty much every time that we do that. I'm surprised it didn't happen this time. Um, you just try again, right? Take a little forward fold once you get up to the top. And then when you're ready from right here, we're coming towards the center of our mat. Left knee is going to come down. Right leg is going to reach out by your side. We've got the left hip stacked on top of the knee. That right leg reaching out nice and long. Inside edge of the foot is pressing down into your mat. From right here, take a moment, collect your thoughts, okay? We're going to reach the arms out to T, and I want you to take an inhale, shift over towards the left, dropping the left hand down, reaching the right arm up. Exhale, we'll pull up through center, and then we'll take things the other way, going up and over towards the right, reaching the left arm up. We'll bring it back up for two more times. We go to the left. Whoo! We'll bring it back up, and then we go to the right. Good. Okay, for one more, we go to the left. And then we'll take it to the right. Good. With that last one, we're reaching the arms up above our shoulders. You're going to interlace the fingers together. We take an inhale to tip over towards the right. Woo! You'll exhale, squeeze through that left side, restack shoulders on top of hips, lifting everything up. For four more, we're going to tip over towards the right. Exhale, we squeeze through that left side, restack shoulders on top of hips. We're going for three. For two, I'm trying to smile, but it's like, ooh, it's a lot. Last one, we go up and over. And then you'll bring things back in. Good, from right there. Whew, right hand comes behind the head. Left hand's gonna reach down by your side. We take an inhale to go up and over towards the left. Maybe you can tap your fingertips towards the mat. Exhale, you'll squeeze through the right side. We're going to lift the left arm up as we restack shoulders on top of hips. Inhale, you lower your left hand down. Exhale, we're gonna come back up through center, reaching the left arm up. Let's go for three. We'll go for two, are you okay? <sighs> Loaded question, right? Last one, we reach up and over. And then exhale, you'll pull things right back up. Awesome, from right here, let's take the arms down. You're going to pull the right knee in and then spin towards the other edge of your mat. Both hands are coming down, both knees are going down. We're going to tuck our toes under, take a big exhale, draw from your lower abs to lift the knees up off of the mat. Inhale, you take your knees right back down for four more. Big exhale, press into the hands, tuck those toes under, big exhale, lift the knees. Inhale, take it back down. Okay, that was four. This is gonna be three. Good, we'll go for two. Good, and then last one. Good, okay, come back to tabletop. Take a second. When you're ready, we're going back in. Big exhale, we lift the knees. You're going to press the hips up, straighten out through the legs, press the heels down towards the mat. Inhale, you pull forward to tabletop, pause, and then drop your knees down. For four more, we lift up. You're going to press the hips up, straighten out through your legs, press the heels down. Inhale, pull forward back to tabletop, and then drop it back down. We'll go for three. Good. For two. And then last one. Good, knees come down, you can untuck your toes. Press hips towards the heels, finding a child's pose. Awesome, take a second, take a breath, big inhale. Exhale, you're gonna let it go, good. When you're ready from right here, we're coming back up into kneeling. We'll hit those same three exercises over on the other side. This time, right knee goes down, left leg reaches out by your side. The inside edge of your left foot can press into your mat. Take a moment, collect your thoughts. If you're like me and you go from down to up and you're, you get a little bit lightheaded, just take a second. Take a second, it's okay. Reach your arms out to T. We take an inhale to shift over towards the right. Right arm's going to drop down, left arm's going to reach up. We exhale, pull it back up to center, and then we go over towards the left. Left arm goes down, right arm reaches up. Exhale, we pull it to center for two more. We go over to the right. 
Woo! Exhale, take it up. Don't mind my screaming. Over to the left. Take it up. One more time. And then one more time to the left. Good. With that final time, everything comes through center. We're going to reach the arms up overhead, clasping the fingertips together, and then right away, right away, rolling the shoulders down and back. We'll take an inhale. You're going to go up and over toward the left. Exhale. We squeeze through that right side, restacking shoulders on top of hips, just for four more. We go four. Oh, wow. For three. for two, and then last one. Good, we come up through center, left hand behind the head, right arm reaches down. You're going to inhale, reach up and over towards the right. Exhale, as you squeeze through that left side, we're going to lift the right arm up. Good, inhale, we go up and over, tip things down. Exhale, you reach things back up. Now what's going on with your legs? Is your hip staying stacked on top of your knee or do you feel like you're pressing your hips back as you tip over? I want you to keep your hips pressing forward to me for two more. We go two. And then last one. I'm really trying to keep it together, but it's hard. Lift things back up. Good. Arms come down. We're pulling the leg back in. Take a second. Take a breath, okay? You've got it under control. We're doing really good. From right here, both hands are going to come down toward your mat. This time you're going to step your feet back so that you find a plank. If that's not for you, drop your knees down. And if you'd prefer to be on your forearms for your plank, absolutely. Take it there, okay? When you're ready, we add on movement. It's a big exhale, bend at the knees, slide the hips back towards the heels, pressing your chest towards your thighs. Inhale, bring it forward to plank. For four more, we exhale, bend the knees. Good, inhale, slide it back. We go for three. For two, can you squeeze the inner thighs together? Good, last one. Awesome. Okay, with that last one, what I want you to do right here is to walk your feet out a little bit wider than your hips. We're going to press down into the right hand. You take your left hand. As you press the hips up, you're going to reach the left hand back towards the right foot. Exhale, we pull back to plank. Same thing on the right side. Lift the hips up, reach the right hand back towards the left foot. Exhale, take it back to plank or inhale, whatever. For three, and three, we'll go for two, and two, last one, and one. Good, with that last one, I want you to come back into your plank, wherever that is for you, we'll just hold for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down to your knees, untuck your toes, press your hips to your heels, find yourself in a child's pose. Pressing your chest down towards the mat, pressing into the heels of your hands. We take an inhale, fill up with air. Exhale out as you let things go. Awesome. Okay, from right here, let's pull ourselves forward. You're going to lower all the way down onto your mat. Chest comes down, head comes down. I do want you to come all the way down. I'm not able to just because of the placement of my microphone today. That's bad on me. Open your feet out wider than your hips, pressing the tops of your feet down into your mat. Arms are going to reach back behind you. I want you to take a big exhale, lift up through the chest, lift up through your head, reaching fingertips back towards the heels. Inhale, you're going to lower all the way back down. For three more, we lift up, reaching fingertips back towards the heels. Inhale, we take everything back down. Good, for two. Last one, I want you to lift up and hold, reaching the fingertips back. You're going to lift your legs off of the mat. And then for a count of 10, we start to kick through the legs, anchoring down into the front of the hips. Good, and I'm gonna start counting 10 right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Everything lowers down, legs come down, hands come down. You're going to press yourself all the way up and then again, reach hips towards the heels, finding your child's pose. Good, take a second right here. A big inhale, fill up with air. Exhale out as you let things go. Good, I have one more trick up my sleeve right here if you can bear it. When you're ready, we're going to pull forward. You'll lay yourself all the way down onto your mat. If you're kind of done with this workout, you can go ahead and skip this part. That's totally fine, all right? When you're ready, we get to lower all the way down. You're going to reach your legs out in front of you. Reach your arms back overhead, okay? We're gonna do four teasers, and in that last teaser, we hold it up, okay? It's a big exhale. You start to lift arms up above the shoulders. As you press your hands down towards your thighs, you lift up through the chest, you lift up through the legs, you start to come into your teaser position, pressing the chest towards the legs. It's an inhale as we lower things all the way down towards the mat, feet come down, chest comes down, or not chest, shoulders come down, arms reach back, that's four. This is gonna be three. Don't mind my shaky breath, it's okay. If this isn't quite for you, you can move single leg or you can just roll up and, you know, to a point that you can sustain. This is two. Okay, here comes the grand finale. Big exhale, we lift those arms up, pressing hands towards the thighs. You start to lift the legs, lift the chest. You're going to pause right here. Okay, we keep the legs up in a teaser. You're going to spread out through your fingertips and we press down, 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 down. Okay, it's like the 100, but up in a teaser. How fun is that? Good, I'm not gonna count to 100 though because my counting for the 100 is not so good. Good, inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Let's drop the left leg down. Three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, one, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, let's switch. Right leg goes down, left leg reaches up. We did about 20 counts. One, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, take the legs together, keep pressing the hands down. You're gonna lower your legs, lower your chest about an inch. Good, one more inch, we lower down. Four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, one more. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You're gonna lower everything down towards the mat. Pull your knees in towards your chest. Take a little rock from side to side. Take a deep breath. Good, good work. Okay, we reach the feet out towards the top edge of our mat, reaching the arms up above your shoulders. You'll take an inhale, mentally prepare. Exhale, knowing that this is not gonna be a beautiful roll up. We press the hands down towards the thighs. We tuck chin to chest, press into the hips. You roll all the way up. That went a lot more smoothly, smoothly than I thought it was going to. We're going to pop up into a tabletop position. Both hands go down, both knees go down. Press the tops of your feet into your mat, all of that jazz. We'll take an inhale. Inhale, arch at the back, open up through your chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, press up and away, pressing into the heels of your hands, curving your spine up as if you are an angry cat. Angry at me, I would assume. For two more, we inhale, arch the back, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, press up and away. Good, for one more. How fun was that? You leave me a comment, you let me know. Exhale, press up and away. I did have somebody ask for a core workout recently, so this one's for you. When you come back to tabletop, let's sway the hips over towards the left. Look over that left shoulder towards your hip. Inhale, everything comes through center. Exhale, same thing over towards the right. It's just like you're a dog, you're looking back at your tail. Good, we'll take it back through center. Let's do one more time each side to the left. Woo, through center and then to the right. Good, we'll take it through center from here. Let's just reach hips towards the heels, take an inhale, and then exhale, we pull back to tabletop for four more, reach hips to heels, and then take it back to tabletop. Good, for three. For two. 
And then last one, I always worry when I do like a 30 minute core class, I won't have enough. I almost have too much. Let's go hips all the way back to the heels. Can you imagine if I was like, let's do a 45 minute core class. You guys would not be happy. Sit your hips down and back, reach the shoulders, um, reach, reach the shoulders. I don't know. Roll the shoulders down and back. Let's lift the arms up. up. <laughs> oh, words are hard. You guys, it's Friday. And I'm just, I'm really trying hook the thumbs together, reach the fingertips up, roll the shoulders down and back. Okay. We're going to take an inhale, drop the right hand down, lift the left arm up. Nice big side body stretch. Exhale. We'll take it up through center. Again, you can hook the thumbs, reach up and then pull the shoulders down. When you're ready, you're dropping left hand over, reaching the right arm up. Good. We'll take things back up through center. Both hands can drop down. You do a little shake through the shoulders. Take any other stretches you feel like you need. You did it. You're all finished with me for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. If you did, as always, please let me know down in the comments. Remember, you're awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video. I just can't resist, you. Got me drunk in love, drunk in